Hello, my name is Micah Wood, and I'm here today to walk you through how to create a WordPress photo gallery. Uh, so make sure you're logged in to the back end of WordPress, and what you want to do is go to where you want to insert your photo gallery. So if you want to insert into a page, uh, you're going to click on the page link. If you're going to insert it into a post, you want to click on the post link. So what we'll do is we'll click there, and we'll see a list of posts. I have one. I'm going to click the edit button uh, so I can edit the post. And so the content area here is where we want to click and put our cursor where we want to insert the photo gallery. Uh, right here where it says upload slash insert. I'm going to click the first icon to the right which says add an image. It'll bring up a window and it'll allow us to upload images from our computer, insert images from a URL, or insert images that are already existing in our media library. Now you cannot create a gallery from anything that is located at a, U at a URL. Um, the URL does not actually associate an image with a particular post or a page. Only uploading from your computer or inserting from the media library will associate those images with your post or page and only images that are associated with your post or page are going to be able to be used for an image gallery. So the easiest way to do this is to up upload images from your computer. Uh, if you're using the flash uploader you'll be able to upload multiple files at once otherwise you'll have to do it one at a time. Uh, so we'll click select files and I'm just going to pick four images here and upload those. And as soon as that's done uh, if you want to make any changes to your images, uh, now is a good time to do it. You can click on Show, and you can see your title. You can change that if you like, uh, and you can change your alternate text. Um, if you change this title right here, um, it's not going to change the file name, which shows right here. Your file name and your alternate text are big indicators for search engines as to what an image is about. So if you're doing search engine optimization, you want to make sure your keywords show up here in the file name, um, which you'll need to make sure is named properly before you upload it, and for the alternate text. Uh, so if you want to make changes, do so. Otherwise, just come to the bottom here and click on Save All Changes. And so you see we have four images accessible for the gallery, and we have a new tab here for a, a photo gallery. And so the only extra functionality that we've got here now is these little boxes which allow us to put numbers in uh, for ordering our images or we can just use the drag and drop functionality and WordPress will number them for us. Uh, so as long as we use the menu order here in the gallery settings um, it's going to uh, use this order that we've assigned here uh, for the images. Otherwise we can sort by the title of the image the date and times that we have uploaded the images and we can also choose to randomize them so that they load differently every time. We'll stick with the menu order. Um, we can also use the ascending descending options if, uh, if we want to flip things around. Uh, but we're gonna take a look here at the link thumbnails too. So an image gallery is basically a bunch of thumbnails and when you click on them you can either be taken to an image file or an attachment page. We're going to go with the attachment page option and I'll give you an example of what exactly those options mean here in a minute. Uh, gallery columns just indicates how many images you have um, from left to right in a given row uh, or how many columns you, of images you have. So you can have anything from two to nine. We're going to stick with two here. And then I'm just going to click on uh, insert a gallery. Just notice that uh, if you were to uh, make any changes up here and click the Save All Changes button, uh, these changes are independent of the changes you make down here. So if you save changes and you've made changes to both areas, it's going to clear the other area out. So you make your changes up top, save, make your changes down bottom, and then insert or update your gallery. So we're going to insert a gallery and you'll see we have a placeholder here. If I click on it we have two icons. One's for editing the gallery and the other one here is for deleting the gallery. Uh, and You can use those in the future if you ever want to make changes. 
uh, if you do use the HTML uh, portion of the editor here uh, you'll see that there's a short code that's been inserted if you were to delete that you'd be deleting your photo gallery so um, just be careful not to do that uh, if you're doing the HTML uh, portion here so we're gonna click on update which will save all these changes to our post and so I'm gonna go to the front end over here this is what our site looks like before just using the default WordPress theme and here's our initial post uh, so when I refresh we'll see our photo gallery appear and so I'm going to click on an image and so this is an attachment page uh, so we have our post name our uh, image title and up here we have our uh, current image and down to the left here we have our previous image and down to the right we have our next image uh, so this is our navigation uh, through these images so we can cycle through by clicking and you'll see that when we reach the end that the next image uh, disappears uh, but if you were to click on the current image you'll see that we can take a look at the, at the image file and so this is what you would if you chose the image file instead of the attachment page option uh, clicking on a thumbnail would take you to this page as opposed to this page um, but this page gives you a little more functionality people can uh, cycle through you can um, have them leave comments if you like uh, so it just adds some extra functionality uh, so one more thing on creating a post here or uh, creating a, a gallery uh, you can also insert images from the media library and a lot of people uh, don't realize that you can so we're gonna click on uh, media library here and so you see our gallery currently has four images uh, our media library has more than that so what we're gonna do is we're going to um, pick a few images here and if you click show for an image and then insert it into your post it'll insert that image into your post and associate it with this particular post if you delete the image which we're gonna do right now it's still associated with the post so if I come back up here and click the add an image button which we're gonna have to reinsert our gallery because I uh, just overwrote it with the, uh, the image I added here uh, you'll see uh, well our actually our gallery still has four images but uh, that's because I think I added an image that was already in the gallery uh, so this is kind of a harder way to add them because you have to actually insert them in the post and then delete them and uh, it's a bit messy and you can't really tell which images are already there which ones are not so that's really not the recommended way to do it unless um, you know exactly what images need to go in there um, the easier way is if you were to go uh, instead and well let's go ahead and insert our uh, gallery because we deleted that there uh, coming into our gallery tab just insert the gallery with the uh, attachment page option and we're going to update so we don't uh, lose that while we leave this page um, so we'll come back and just check make sure yep our gallery is still there um, but the easier way is to come over here to the left and click on media and this will take you to your media library and you'll notice that it lists your file um, your image file and it says attached to and so you have hello world um, so these are attached to that post and these other images are not so if you just want to add a certain image to the gallery to associate it with that post you just simply click on the attach button and then when you come up here you just type in hello or whatever it is that you want whatever post you want to find you search for it and so it's going to pull up our hello world post and we're just going to select that one and so now you'll see that this uh, particular image here is now associated with a hello world post so when I come back here without ever having made any changes to the post from the post editing page um, I refresh and we're going to gain an image there uh, so that's the easiest way to insert an image into the gallery from the media library um, however the danger is that if you are using this image um, in some other places and you want to remove it from the gallery you'll have to delete it from the gallery which will also delete it from your media library 
Uh, so that's the danger there that you may uh, run into. So that's why I typically recommend that you just upload them from your computer. And uh, that way if you delete them, uh, you're not also potentially deleting some other files from here.